Justice Osai Ayako has commended the federal government for fighting corruption among top government officials. In a statement released in Calabar, capital of Cross River State, Ayako said the ongoing investigations of former ministers of humanitarian affairs and poverty alleviation, Sadia Umar Farouk, and a suspended successor, Betty uh, Edu, accused of misappropriation of public funds, will significantly enhance Nigeria's image in the global index for the fight against corruption. The legal expert said that technology can enhance the detection and prevention of financial crimes, adding that they can enable authorities to identify suspicious activities and take prompt action. Joining us is the National Coordinator, Activist for Good Governance, Comrade Declan Ekare. Comrade Declan, good to have you. Yeah, thank you so much. Politics. What would be your response to the uh, reportage just read out now? Yeah, it's a good uh, it's a good news coming from the presidency at this point in time in this country. Uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, we are getting this unfortunate uh, information or story from uh, a, a minister that was duly uh, uh, screened by the highest screening body in the nation, that being the Senate, and uh, despite the screening and uh, other. Uh, security tests they underwent, yet uh, we're still getting this kind of uh, news coming from them. Uh, 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 but the action taken by Mr. Conway, yes. I, I just hope you will not see me as a, as a cynic, but you, you really want to call what happened in the Senate, you really want to call that screening, sir? If you were yeah, to... I'm only saying that, that that is the highest screening body that can screen ministers. And, and if they failed who have done the needful, and we're getting what we're getting now, seeing ministers that have just been screened, that should have been questioned very well, and they are doing this at this point in time, it shows that there was no screening. It means that the cry of uh, should be well screened and well tutored and not been taken care of. That's the area I'm going to, sir. Okay, let's even be, let's even be a bit lenient with the Senate now, and we take it past the Senate and we say, okay, even the cabinet members and senior civil servants up to the level of permanent secretaries were said to have had a, a retreat of a sort. Uh, at the retreat, one wonders what they were, what they were put through. Uh, because uh, anybody who may not even have served in government before, take away the fact that the person we're talking about was formerly a commissioner at, in a state in Nigeria, Anybody would know that there must be processes and procedures, especially regarding how monies are moved from the coffers of government to private, uh, private entities. And all those rules seem to have been slapped down in this instance. One is wondering, okay, there's an investigation going on, but I would you want to respond to the fact that but what, what were they taught? What were they taken through? when they add their retreat. Yeah, thank you so much. You see, it's quite unfortunate, like I repeat and I said. Um, they went through retreat fine, well and good, but it shows clearly from what's happening now that they, they, they only went there, they didn't allow the retreat to really penetrate into them. And more so, um, uh, it's, it's, it's coming at the point where Nigeria masses are going through a lot in the hand of the government uh it's very clear at this point in time that we still have people in government whose hands are soiled who should be shown way out of governance and uh, if if at this point in time somebody of that caliber a minister does not know the procedure of how money should be treated Public money uh, should be handled. It's quite uh, comrade, unfortunate. And uh, com comrade, uh, in so much as uh, I fully agree with all the points you've made, I think it's imperative, especially on me, to let our viewers know that nobody has been convicted yet. 
uh, investigations that are going on, and if sometimes we speak as though uh, that person has been, or somebody has been nailed, it may just be the passion of the moment, but it is incumbent on me, and it's a duty, a journalistic duty I must perform to emphatically state at this juncture that nobody has been convicted yet. We are just opinionated. I, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you. But any infraction, any infraction in governance, any infraction in governance, if well investigated, if well scrutinized by authorities that should do the needful, it will be very clear that something is wrong somewhere. You see, it is quite unfortunate that technicalities might begin to set in at this point in time. But the bitter truth is, people should be questioned very well. This very act or this very thing that has happened must be allowed to pass through due process in investigation. And I am telling you, if proper things are done, I am sure that more revelations will emerge at the end of the investigation. Uh, comrade, uh, a friend of mine, you know, used to crack a joke, would say, Look, when you are chasing a thief, you have basically told the world that you, in the first place, you have allowed yourself to be taken. If you, if you had your system together, if you are well guarded, if you have put preventative measures in place, the thief ordinarily wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have taken your, your, your stuff and you, you wouldn't have to be chasing the thief. So from, what you have, from the point you've made, it does seem that even if nobody is eventually convicted on this matter, it does seem that the system, there are systemic failures. And about time we had some operational reforms of how government money moves in, in, uh, at, the, at the federal level. What do you think about, although, although we must give it to the federal government that they set up a committee headed by the incumbent minister of uh, finance and the head of the economic team, they, they call him, to review financial um, movement or something like that. How would you, what would be your take on, on, on my opinion? Yeah, there has always been procedures. There has always been laid down principles and policies on how policies and uh, Yes, I convinced this issue, these policies to better their lives one way or the other. And that's why I'm saying that every infraction in governance is always being done. Maybe they feel nothing will happen at the end of it all. What we're saying is this. At this point, there should be proper investigation to really fish out those that are culpable in this act. There are so many people out there that are involved in this act. There are laws guiding every action that has been taken in governance. There are set out rules on how to manage, to manage what belongs to the people of this country, our common wealth. And so the way you use your personal wealth in enriching yourself or servicing yourself is not the same way you, you use public funds. You see, and that is why I said there are laid down principles and, and acts that guides everyone who is at the helm of affairs in this nation, who has been entrusted with responsibilities, you know, uh, and, and if those ones refuse to do the needful, refuse to follow the procedure that has been laid down in our constitution on how to do things right, then the law should take its course. Uh, and I'm uh, just wanting to think aloud now, uh, I know you don't quite fall into that age bracket, but uh, the youths that are closer to you, especially maybe those ones that you are mentoring in, uh, in uh, corporate governance activity, uh, uh, corporate governance activism, how do they feel uh, about the particular age range of the uh, of the person that is here being investigated. How, how, how do the youths around you, how do they feel? Uh, because ordinarily, 
Yeah. There, there have been agitations for for getting the youths uh, to be to be assimilated into into government. How, what is your feedback from beyond, the youths beyond, around beyond, you? Beyond, beyond, beyond how the youth feels, yes. it's a slap to the other side of of the female to the female folk. The slap that. We have been that the, the women have been advocating for women inclusion in politics, and now they are being included. They are being added to do better than men. But what we are seeing is that they they are not even better than men. But they are only better than men in certain aspects that are negative to the economy. And so people are disappointed. I am disappointed. The youth are disappointed. The women are disappointed. The nation is disappointed. And so it's not about age bracket at this point in time i think it's about having people who have conscience people who love the nation should be appointed into positions to to do what of the nigerian people not just appointing people on political base on political party basis or on friendship basis or on on the fact that oh this person sponsored me during my campaign no we should go beyond that we should have people who have conscience, people who can feel the pulse of the people. And once you can feel the pulse of the people, I tell you, you will not be able to do anything that will go negative to the uh, to, 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 to the mindset of ordinary uh, Nigerian. Come here, come here, come here, come In an environment, in an environment of yes, partisan politics where. Uh, the ultimate winner uh, would have been supported and, and uh, would have been aided and would have been helped by by partisans who believe either in him or her uh, is almost inevitable. It's almost inevitable that um, uh, the the first line of beneficiaries from his victory or her victory would be those who who stood by him, who campaigned for him, who I uh, worked with him when he was uh, trying, wh when he was aspiring or contesting. Uh, so, it's gonna, don't you think it's going to be challenging to? This, this is this is the area. This is yeah. This is the area. This is the area I detest most politicians. You see, in a nationhood, you must go beyond poly, poly, uh, 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 party politics. You must go beyond it. You must go beyond it. You must go for the best. You must go for those that have conscience. You see, when you begin to compensate uh, 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 for you. Have you factored in have you factored in the fact that uh, most times these politicians would need to seek uh, seek re-election and uh, one way or the other uh, they may need the services of those that helped them to uh, to attend the office and if they snubbed them it may become a liability for their re-election. What do you think about that? Well, well that that yeah we're also getting it wrong there. Until we get to the level in this nation where politicking is based on the people's mandate, not on individuals' mandate, on the people's mandate. When the people say yes and they vote for you, then you should be able to serve the people with all your heart. But when uh, few but, people but, put you there, you want to my play. good comrade. Yes, you want my, to play. my good comrade. Yes. Uh, when you yes. say when you say that is what you what you detest about our politics in this nation. Uh, any liberal democracy also suffers the same. Uh, you want to go, you, you want to go to America, where we borrowed the presidential system from. You want to go to England, even in a parliamentary system environment, or in France. Every every liberal democracy has a tendency for the winner to want to reward those who helped to uh, orchestrate his uh, victory. I understand your point. Nobody can fault the logic of your point. But the pragmatism, that is the real politic hand of it, is just what I'm thinking aloud to think uh, is a bit uh, idealistic. Wait. Yeah, wait, see, you see. Uh, That's a closing to... remark. That's a closing yeah. remark. Make a closing remark so that we wrap it up. Yeah, we must get to the level in this nation where we go beyond poly, 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 uh, party politics. We must begin to embrace politics, politics of the conscience, politics of serving the masses, politics of thinking Nigerian force before you think about your pockets. 
And so Nigerians are wiser now that they must make sure that they monitor every act of governance. And by doing that, I can assure you that we'll get to the best of the best in this nation. Thank you very much, sir. We quite appreciate your contribution. Thank you. And we wish you all the best.